Uh, you can be very intelligent and very good at what you do, and you can still be stupid. the coast and uh, what we're here for is essentially to test whether objects fall at the same rate or whether they fall at different rates depending on their heaviness. Um, a lot of people would go with thinking that um, all objects fall at the same rate you know if they accept Galileo and Newton gravity whereas a lot of people like myself think that heavier objects will fall faster um, than lighter objects. So we're here on the cliff as we can see and what we intend to do is we intend to um, drop uh, two identical sized bottles, one filled with water, one filled with solder and water, so one's heavier, one's lighter, and drop them from this staircase here. It's roughly about 60, 60 feet high minimum so we should get quite concisive results. A lot of people when they uh, when they show uh, gravity uh, demonstrations they're always holding things or dropping things from shoulder height or you know just uh, maybe seven feet above you know ground level. Three, two, one. Oh! Yes we did it! When did you and we think that's not good enough. We think a drop something of this nature is, would be more conclusive as to know whether objects fall at the same rate or, the, or at different rates. So let's come back when it's quieter and we'll carry out our demonstration. Right okay so we're going to show people video footage from three drop tests that we've carried out over the past couple of days um, where we varied the heaviness of the Objects. Objects, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. And mm. hopefully we'll come to a conclusion. Well, we will come to a conclusion at the very end and we'll, we'll uh, just uh, commentate over the video footage. Absolutely. And one thing that has to be mentioned and that is we did ensure that uh, safety was paramount and that the objects were dropped when nobody else was around. Absolutely. So let's go on and have a look at drop test number one. Number one. Here we go. So this base, this video shows very quickly our release device. Um, so we, you pull the string, the string tied to a couple of CDs, the CDs pull out and then release the bottles and then they fall at the same time. So that's yeah. very straightforward. Because the CDs are kind of wedged under the bottle, the caps to go. the bottles. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah, of course. It's and got it's a very simple mechanism. So let's just give that one more hit because it's, oh, look at that. There we go. Wasn't that lovely? So that's that one. That's what we use to release the bottles. And our, on our first drop, we did, um, as I mentioned earlier, we did one bottle filled with water, which is the red banded bottle. And the green banded bottle has water and four coils of solder, solder which weighs of 270, 267 grams. Yeah, and the the heavier bottle is always is always, always has green. a green band, absolutely. And the lighter bottle will always have a red band. And uh, from from when we haven't weighed the particular bottle of water, the red with the red band, but from what I've done before, it's about seventy to one hundred and twenty grams, something like that. But there is a considerable difference in, in the weight. weight between the green and red bottle in weight in heaviness in heaviness absolutely of course so let's get let's going go. and show the uncut unedited video now i'm just going to skim through this because a lot of the time it is we have it running for a long time there we go so there's me at the top there um trying to keep it straight it's quite quite good nearly on release and there we go there we go five four three two one there and there we go. So there we go. Not bad, was it? So that's the we will. We were able to have a, a small webcam 
or not webcam, but a spy cam, spy action cam, cam. action cam, uh, on the, another tripod, on another tripod to so, obviously capture the footage as they actually hit the ground. Absolutely. So this is this footage. So I think it's probably about no, there's you. I think it's around here. Let's play this. Here we go. So this is from a closer angle. There we go. There we go. So that's the two bottles. They're quite because the camera wasn't set up quite close was it well it's the first one we did so first one we did absolutely that's why we felt we had to we had to do it again of course so that's that one um do we need to should we go and yeah well, let's just show the frame by frame of that right let's go it's surprising these you know a lot of people seem to think that uh, objects fall at the same rate and yet i've i've said to a lot of people what what uh, the, what we're doing and a lot of people have said to me well the heavier object should fall should hit the ground first there we go there we go there we go so you can just see the heavier object coming to shot now they're, and they're about they're about equal aren't equal they? aren't they yeah okay yeah. so let's just yeah they're there falling go. about they're the falling same height there we go look you can go. see yeah, you can see, see them, them there. there so there we go but now we're but seeing... now you can start to see that the heavier object Checked. does yeah, but... Um, does increase uh, in is pulling away is pulling away from, from the, the lighter object from the light, lighter object yeah. which would so mean, there we go which would mean in this example that the but it's very close it's very close but the heavier object hit the ground first the heavier well, well absolutely because what we've got at the end for everyone is we took a still from every single vi uh, drop. From all drop tests. From all drop tests to compare. To compare. So uh, we'll show that. So let's move on to on drop, drop test, test number two. And um, what chain difference of thing did we do? Well, the difference with this one is that we emptied some of the water from the the bottle with the red band, the orange band around it. Absolutely, because it was filled with water, and we emptied enough there you go there's only a small amount of water, water in there that's why we i've turned it we've turned it up to, upside down so everyone can see how much or how little water is in the bottle and that basically was the only change that was the only change we kept the bottle here the same and so will it make a although difference we replaced the bottle although we replaced the bottle absolutely yeah so great stuff so let's play the video here we go uh, the only thing that's happened with this video is that I've uh, cut the beginning section and basically rotated it. That's all I've done. So let's have let's have a look. Well, we we filmed this with the camera at a forty-five perpendicular ninety degrees. Ninety degree. Yeah. So here we go. It's going. So the the heavy bottle has remained heavy, but the lighter bottle is even lighter this yeah. time. That's his there we go. And have they gone? They've gone. Yeah, they've they? gone. Yeah. Right, okay, so let's have a look at the other uh, video. The, the other webcam. This, this footage. I've not. Um, I've not uh, cut these. Well, that's. I'll pick up that. Uh, there we go. I think it should be maybe right there. should be about there. there we go there we go look at that superb now let's have a little look let's put this in vlc and just we should see it any time any time now, now yes yeah, so please bear with us absolutely please bear with us go there there we, we go. go now you can see right at the top, top of the there, screen yeah. there is the heavy bottle well, you can see both bottles actually can you see both bottles yeah. no oh, no sorry no and yeah. there on just coming oh, to right, shop yeah. is the lighter bottle, bottle. So there you go. Look, there is a big difference between the um, the heavy heavier bottle, the altitude of the uh, he heavy bottle to the um, lighter bottle. Lighter bottle. Yeah. Look at that. So, I mean, it's quite clear when you look at these that the objects are just aren't falling at the same rate. Absolutely. But the heavier object is falling faster, faster. and is going to hit the ground mm -hmm. first. Well, in this example, yeah. In this example, there you go. There you go. Th this is ground zero. Yeah, you know? the the heavy bottle has already touched the ground, and the the lighter bottle is still in the air. And you still, falling. I'd say that was about a foot and a half. A oh, foot and a half difference. Difference. Yeah, absolutely. Well, it doesn't landed after. There, there you go. go. And so that's that. 
so let's go on to our I was going to do this look at that drop let's go on to three. our drop test, test number, three. number three okay now what was the only difference we made to this one was that we put sound in with well, we, the in with the solder coil of solder yeah yeah we added wet sand sound to yeah. so it was even heavier and we the, the lighter bottle was undamaged on the previous drop Chops so we somewhere. kept it the same and used the same bottle didn't we yeah yeah absolutely wasn't it amazing yeah so here we go so let's have a look the same video applies you know we've just rotated it and uh, that's about it so there's me zipping up to up there uh, there we go got it here, right. we go. here we go the only thing you can't get in view is the top so here we go yeah, but at least people know that we've got the full length absolute video footage. absolutely of course that's that's the thing there, there you go. go drop and boom there yeah, we go uh, when i first recorded this you were pretty sure that the heavier objects i, I could clearly tell that the heavier objects hit yeah. the ground well let's first. have a little look at the other webcam oh, oh sorry when i first saw this i could tell that the heaviest heavier object here you go the let's first. go wait there let's have a look at the other cam i'm just sipping through this to get there, yeah, there you go um here we go there we go let's just go back here we go let's just play again here we go and there probably one, 118 or 119 absolutely well i'm just going to go back here because what i've done here is i've zoomed in and we can follow the objects as they fall okay so here here they go there they go oh, yeah yeah yeah, yeah. You and you can clearly that. tell that the heavier object hits the ground first, first. oh there's, yeah, there's there quite a uh, uh, there's quite oh, a gap there we go so so we've done that and we do we need to play this again yeah we should play it in uh, vlc vlc let's, there, there you go. go now you can see the heavy bottle is in shot there okay there you go there we go and the lighter bottle hasn't come in no, shot can't see it. it's still not in shot still not in shot no it's still not in, in shot. shot no there, yeah, there that's is. where you see the the heavy bottles touch the ground already isn't it looks like it looks yeah. like it's touched the ground yeah. already or oh, it's very very close Close. whereas the the lighter bottle is so it's about i'd say that's about three foot three and a half four foot even off the ground three foot yeah three three and a half foot three foot i'd yeah. go three three and a half foot yeah. so we can certainly uh, see from this that the heavier the object is the more of a distance between the two objects well in, in given the, given this demonstration the the lighter you make an object out of two objects as it were yeah. if you make one object lighter it will hit the ground last mm. or if you if conversely if you make an object heavier yeah. that is more likely going to hit the ground mm. first yeah and the heavier you make that object it's going to have a, a there'll be a, a larger distance between the two as they fall yeah so we've done a we've done a comparison of all three we've done a comparison of all three, three. Just so to let's show just go back there we go we've done a comparison of all three here we go and, and there we are we've taken a still from each image and you can see that on the first drop let's just go here let's just zoom up you can see the two bottles there and there's not much in them no but the the heavier object is slightly but the heavier object yeah let's max that out that's slightly lower than the the heavier object is slightly lower the lighter object so it's so easy it's when you when you're dropping things from say shoulder height or just with arms outstretched above your head and then you drop in things it's easy to convince people that things drop at the same rate right. absolutely yeah, it's yeah. so easy but obviously from what we've seen in this demonstration Sorry. is that it's clear well, it's clear that, the, that what we've done in all three that the major uh, contributory factor is elevation height height these objects and dropped. weight and, and heaviness of yeah. the objects that you're dropping yeah absolutely elevation is a determining factor absolutely because what we did here is we've um the variable we've carried out or we've altered is the weight the heaviness of the heavier object yeah, and I mean, we've made a light uh, made the light object lighter 
Look, the bottles are exactly the same. Bottles are exactly the same, same so size. you've got the same resistance acting on the bottles as they're going through there, yeah. as they're uh, falling. And, and this is the second drop, drop number two. You can see the distance between them. And, you know, it's getting bigger the heavier the object is. So the heavier more, the heavy object is. So it's more pro rata. The heavier an object is, yeah, yeah. the further it will pull away from a lighter They're kind object. of like proportional. Mm -hmm. Proportional. Uh, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. It's all proportional to their, their weight. Their or heaviness. shall we say relative. Absolutely. And we do mean weight without reference to gravity. gravity. We're not talking gravity. Yet. No, we're just talking weight as in because, you know, as an, uh, um, an item's, an object's heaviness. Yeah, because we're, we're on the understanding that the, the force... If I can say that in loosely, Absolutely. the force is within the, the object. The force is within the object. And this is the uh, still from the last um, the last drop. And we can see that, you know, the the, the gap between the two is increasing. Absolutely, you know. It's um, increasing. So that's it really, isn't it? That's it, yeah. So, um, yeah, you know, if, if anyone thinks that, um, you know, the objects fall at... Uh, you know, if, if objects fall at the same rate, um, you know, in my understanding, you know, that they'll be they'd be uh, absolutely uh, ridiculous, you know, to to think that, you know, it's a control. It's in our from what we've seen in that demonstration, it does appear that the um, whole idea idea of objects falling at the same rate is contrived. contrived. Yeah, it's all contrived to make absolutely. people think that the same force is acting. On Absolutely, those of course. So, and you thought objects were at the same rate? Well, it's our opinion that that, uh, is that wrong. view is wrong. Absolutely, very wrong. Because we can be rest assured that if we drop those objects at a much higher elevation, yeah, not sixty feet, but one hundred twenty feet, for yeah. example, we'd see a much greater disparity between the, the heavier the and lighter heavier objects. And lighter objects. Absolutely, of you course. Know, it's just common sense. Common sense, absolutely. But there you go. let us know what you think. Drop a comment below, and um, it'd be great to see your feedback, you know. Absolutely, yeah. Um, yeah. So thanks ever so much, and always remember till next time, if something doesn't make sense, like... Objects falling at the same rate. Absolutely, absolutely. objects falling at the same, same rate. rate. Yeah, you know, well, it's kind of like, well, it's nonsense, isn't it? Of course. Absolutely. So thanks ever so much, and we'll see you next time. time. Okay. Bye. Time. Bye. The earth isn't round, it's flat. How do you know? I've observed it in all my travels over Europe. It's flat, everywhere it's flat.